Imagine walking through life with an invisible backpack. In it, you carry scripts, pre-written dialogues and actions that dictate how you respond to the world around you. These scripts are like old software programs, coded from past experiences, often rooted in childhood traumas or misunderstandings. They're so deeply ingrained that you might not even realize they're running. Yet, they're often the culprits behind your irrational fears, your emotional outbursts, or even your self-sabotaging behaviors. Take, for example, the script that says, if I make a mistake, I'll be humiliated. So, I must be perfect. This script can turn a simple oversight at work into an existential crisis. Or consider the script that whispers, if I trust someone, they'll betray me. So, I better keep my walls up. This one can transform a loving relationship into an emotional battlefield. These scripts are not just thoughts, they're predictors of your actions, and they can trap you in cycles of behavior that you can't seem to break. But here's the kicker, these scripts are not your destiny. They're not immutable laws of your personal universe. They're more like suggestions, and bad ones at that. The first step to rewriting these scripts is recognizing that they exist. Awareness is half the battle. Once you're aware, you can start to question them. Is it true that making a mistake will lead to humiliation? Is it a fact that showing emotion will create chaos? More often than not, you'll find that these scripts are based on outdated information or irrational fears. The next step is to challenge these scripts in real time. The next time your boss points out a minor error, instead of spiraling into self-doubt, take a moment to breathe. Remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes and it's not the end of the world. Or the next time you feel like shutting down emotionally in a relationship, ask yourself what you're really afraid of, and whether that fear is based on the present reality or a script from the past. The ultimate goal is to live a life free of these limiting scripts. It's like updating the software of your mind. And just like with any software update, there might be bugs and glitches along the way. That's okay. The important thing is that you're taking control of your own narrative. You're becoming the author of your life story, not just a character acting out someone else's script. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're about to react in a way that feels all too familiar, take a pause. Ask yourself, is this me, or is this my script? And remember, you have the power to rewrite the story of your life, one line at a time.